Fantastic. We're out here in Islandia, SQ4D on the site. They were printing all night last night. These guys are savages. They were out until midnight, lights going. The crazy thing is, this machine is like a whisper. You could go 24 hours a day, the people next door, into their third dream. These guys are still printing at 12 o'clock at night. So, essentially what happened the first day was, they have, so let me take you down into the, into the, the crevice, the, the bowels of the foundation, if you will. So I'm standing on, there's, there's a T footing that they filled in. So it's 12 inches deep by 16 inches wide. And this is roughly 8,500 to 9,000 PSI strength of concrete. They also have horizontal and vertical rebar. We had, on top of that, when we start printing again, which will be after this rainstorm, they're gonna 3D print the forms which will then be backfilled and turned into the footings for the slab on grade foundation. So nine hours of printing. Where's Kirk? Kirk, how much cement we got in here? It's 12 inches deep, 16. So essentially in one day, one twelfth of the house has been printed. So again, we'll start printing the forms, back films of the footings, next to the foundation, vapor barrier, we'll put the electric in, finish the foundation, then it's interior and exterior walls. So you guys can start to see how this comes together and then how you can essentially 3D print forms, footing, foundation, interior and exterior walls in only 40 print hours. So depending on how many hours a day you're allowed to print and weather permitting, you can get done a week, 10 days. It really depends on the season, the climate, and what your local municipality will let you do.